So there are four types of loan, balloon payment loan, interest only loan, constant amortization loan, and constant payment loan, which is the most common one. I explained the, uh, the first three types in previous videos. And in this video, I'm going to explain the constant payment loan. So let's work uh, on this example using Excel spreadsheet. A briefly explained example, the life uh, of the project is four years. The capital cost required is $1 million, annual revenue of $625,000, annual operating cost of $220,000 from year one to year four. Uh, the depreciation method is MACRS three year half year convention, salvage zero, uh, working capital of uh, $100,000, uh, income tax of 40%, and discount rate of 10%. Uh, so the first is uh, revenue. So revenue is $625,000 from year one uh, to year four. And then we are going to have the operating cost with a negative sign. Of uh, $220,000 from year one to year four. Then we are going to have the depreciation uh, from year one to year four. Uh, so I extracted the rates here and I'm just going to apply them with the negative sign. One million dollar of capital cost uh, multiply these rates from year one to year four then we are going to have working capital right off uh, right off so it is going to be working capital uh, uh, as uh, can be deducted from revenue as tax deductions so this was a hundred thousand dollars and uh, then we are going to calculate uh, the taxable income, which is a summation of over each column. Then we calculate the tax, which was 40%. So we multiply the taxable income by 40%. And we can enter with negative sign. Um, then net income, which equals this plus tax uh, tax with a negative sum plus uh, taxable income then we add back the depreciation with positive sign so it is going to be so it is negative I multiply it with the negative sign to which I get a positive sign the other is a uh, working capital write-off. This here, it was with a negative sign. I have to enter it with a positive sign here. I just use the abbreviation. Then, and then the uh, capital cost in the working capital
and after tax cash flow which is going to be the summation of these numbers and then I'm going to calculate the rate of return for this project using the IRR function and then the NPV which was uh, I have a payment at present time uh, plus NPV of 10% and uh, the other now let's assume we are going to take uh, a loan of a million dollars at uh, present time uh, with 8% uh, of interest and we want, to we want to see how it is going to affect the project so the first thing is we have to calculate the payments uh, so uh, from year 1, 2, 3, 4 the payment equals uh, this uh, 1 million dollars multiply the factor uh, a over P or capital recovery factor which is I multiply uh, 1 plus uh, I uh, power 4 years uh, divided by uh, 1 plus I power 4 uh, minus 1 So it is going to give us uh, almost uh, $302,000 per year and uh, they are equal for year 1 to year 4. Then we need to calculate the interest. The interest equals uh, the balance multiply the interest rate. The balance for year 1 is a uh, million dollar uh, multiply uh, the interest. Uh, and uh, the principal is the payment minus uh, the interest the principal equals payment minus interest and the balance equals uh, the the balance of previous year which was a million dollar minus the principal that is paid at the principal portion of the payment that is paid at uh, year one for year two the interest equals the uh, balance of the previous year um, uh, minus multiply uh, the interest rate which was 8% and uh, the principal equals uh, payment minus the interest rate and the balance equals the balance of previous year minus the the principal portion that is paid so i can just apply this to the other years and and as you can see here if we calculate everything correctly the uh, balance of uh, the principal of the uh, last year should equal exactly same as uh, the remaining the last remaining balance now we need to draw our, our table uh, uh, first start with um, year one two three four sorry we start at present time one uh, one two three four Uh, we start with uh, uh, revenue which was uh, starting at year one uh, $625,000 and uh, it was from year one to year four 
then the operating cost with the negative sign with then uh, I will add uh, depreciation uh, I can extract the uh, rates from the table and uh, write them here as so depreciation equals uh, minus a million dollar multiply uh, these rates then we add the working capital write-off I just use the abbreviation uh, which was minus a hundred thousand dollars and the important part here is the interest portion of these annual payments loan annual payments uh, are deductible uh, from uh, revenue as tax deductions so I will enter them with the negative sign so this is the interest then I will calculate uh, taxable income which is the summation over this column and the tax which is 40% uh, of this number and uh, net income then uh, we add uh, back the depreciation with positive sign equals this amount uh, then the working capital write-off which is positive sign here so and then we have to enter the loan principal with the negative sign here so this is the loan principal from year one to year four then we enter the capital cost with a negative sign and then we enter the loan with the positive sign and we are going to have and then we calculate the after tax cash flow which is the summation of this part sorry I missed the working capital in the table uh, working capital with the negative one hundred thousand dollars and after tax cash flow and rate of return
and then peace.